from the N1 in Bulukwane where they went to investigate uh, the accident scene. But uh, throughout the, the wait, a uh, lot of mourners still making their way to uh, the Shabani home here in Waterkloof, uh, coming to pay their respects to the family, coming to support the family. And right now I am joined by Post Office um, Minister Siabonga Gwele, who is also here to support uh, the family. Minister, of course, a painful day, a sad day uh, for South Africans. Uh, great loss. It is a very hard day for all of us in the government, in the ANC, and I think the whole nation, because we have lost one of the most humble sons, one of the most bright sons uh, of, of the soil. Uh, as you know, Colin was having very, holding very whole, uh, high responsibilities in government, very difficult responsibilities, but he was able to take all of us on board in dealing with us. He was the that humility which brought everybody to listen whenever I speak because he was always bringing solutions to whatever challenges we bring. That's how we remember him. That's how we remember him also as a person who not only contributed in our country, he was assisting a lot of our neighbors or other countries in Africa in trying to bring peace. As I was saying, if you go to Juba in South Sudan, he was one of the highly respected uh, person because he was also trying to assist them to deal with the challenges they are facing there. Mm -hmm. I think from both sides of the conflict there, he was very highly respected because he was, his first thing was to assist the people to resolve whatever challenges they were facing. Certainly a lot of fond uh, memories of uh, Minister Collins uh, Chabane, and it seems like you will always, uh, you know, he's, he's been described throughout the day as somebody who has made South Africa proud, and he has really, you know, contributed immensely to policy in the country to take South Africa forward. Of course, like I said, uh, he was uh, the first in the presidency to start the new ministry and uh, we change things the way you can do government. But uh, also on the social scene, the way he interacted with the people. Uh, I was saying just on the lighter side, uh, I remember he was one who introduced to some of these sports who tried to be active, like golf, for instance. Uh, he was a keen golfer, although we don't get much time to play but we always try and they'll beat us but uh, we'll be winners because this was another form of time to relax uh, in our hard jobs. Uh, one of the memories I have, yet a birthday two years ago in Pulubar. We played this golf, we had all his friends. In the evening, they tried to surprise him with a party. Uh, but uh, that party, there were people who were doing all sorts of things, singing. But he soon joined them on the stage and he took over the stage and that the way he used to play and love his uh, music. That's a type of person that uh, that's why I think so many people you know, from all walks of life, black and white, mm -hmm. they respected him so much. That's mm -hmm. the type of man we have just lost today. And that's and, why we have And that's the type of leadership and intellectual mm -hmm. power that should be taken moving forward, meaning that his mm -hmm. legacy should not be forgotten. Definitely not. And that's why we're here to firstly to pass condolences to the family, to the nation, to our own movement, the ANC, because we have to carry on his legacy. Mm. Although one receives this with, you know, deepened sadness, uh, the controversial question pops up, you know. This accident has once again put road carnage, the problem we have with road carnage, on the spotlight. Yes, of course, but uh, we'll have to leave this, I hope, the, to the law enforcement agencies. And uh, I hope that uh, let's give them a chance to do a thorough investigation so that we can come to the, to the end of this. And, uh, and all of us can then find mechanisms to contribute to reduce accident in our society. All right. Thank you so much, Minister. Of course, that is uh, Minister Siabonga Twele, one of the many mourners who have converged here at uh, the Shabani home in Waterkloof. We are expecting still the family to make their way back from Bulukwane, and uh, thereafter we will be bringing you more updates.